Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition, which is also Anniversary Edition on Expert Difficulty. Hi, hi, hi. If you're enjoying the series, like the video, leaving comments, subscribing with the bell turned on, all helps me out. Thank you very much. If you do that stuff, let's get right into it. Now, it's really late where I am. It's very late. So I'm gonna, probably going to be quiet. We're going we're gonna to do one of, them, one of them rare ASMR episodes. You know what I mean? Not very ASMR-y, but I'm going to try to probably be very... Very, uh, calm, cool, and collected. In the last episode, we nabbed this reindeer here. Vitral, De Drez Vitral Desden's Reindeer. Uh, this is Anniversary Edition content. It looks pretty good. It's a reskinned horse. He's got the little Shetland pony legs. Yeah, but he, uh, he looks really good. His face looks pretty reindeery. Hi. <laughs> uh, we need to call him something. What do we call him something? Or her? I don't know. Um, antlers, horns. Okay, I can't think of this crap. I, I keep forgetting we're playing survival. I gotta, like, actually do stuff. Uh, we got so many things to do. Why did I come to Solitude? Oh, yeah, we need to travel. Oh, there's so many, like, priorities we have to do. But let's get the Grey Cowl of Nocturnal first. So there is a, a thick man. Look at this right. This raider is sick as heck. Uh, I need to call him something. Not what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. He's got horns. Her -der 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 -der. We should call him this thing. Who are you? Need a ride? Yes. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? Let's go to... Wait, where are we trying to go? We're doing this. The Grey Cal of Nocturnal. At the Riften Cemetery, I found a thief loitering near a tombstone. On his body was a note that mentioned the Grey Fox was dead, and his cow was to be passed on to a new owner. To prove my worth, I underwent a series of trials to retrieve items for a stranger. Having found them all, I must now return to Riften so I can hand it and the deed over at the grave of the Grey Fox. Uh, somebody asked if I spoiled the identity of the Grey Fox. I don't think that I did. Uh, I tried specifically not to, and I don't even know how I would. And that's all I'll say on the matter. Anyways, let's do it. Uh, yeah, I'll climb in back, and then can we be off? Is that possible, do you think? Perhaps that would be possible. My carriage is... Where do you want to go? I already told you, pal. Now, I told you in real life and not in the game, but still, I told you. Riften. Sit back and enjoy the ride. I will, thank you, and hopefully my reindeer comes along with me. Now, what should we call the reindeer? Hmm. Hmm. Something Christmassy, something reindeery, something that would make sense in the world of Skyrim. I, I, I'm i so bad at thinking of names on the spot. I think that I'm good in general, but on the spot, I'm terrible. Okay, we're going to head back into Riften. Yeah, we have to think about this game in terms of efficiency, you know, since we're constantly losing sleep, uh, the temperature thing, and obviously the uh, the hunger. All of these are problems. But look at this. We're about, oh, about to meet the Gray Fox. I'm genuinely curious as to what's going to happen here. Are they actually going to do it, or are we going to get bamboozled? I'm kind of expecting a bamboozle, to be honest with you, but I'm hoping not. Hello? Okay. Oh, don't bam- look at this crap. Come on, man. You can't tell me that we're gonna see the guy and then not show me the guy. Stranger's Journal. Oh my- I knew they were gonna do this. I was like, I was like are they actually gonna put the guy in the game? That would be sick. But looks like not. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I shouldn't jump the gun. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna do my best voice. <clears throat> The curse of the Grey Cowl is said to strip you of your identity, wiping you from all of recorded history. But the curse was broken long ago. The truth is, it wasn't Nocturnal that robbed me of my life. It was my selfishness. I wore the cowl out of pure greed. I left my family because I loved only myself. Then my sister passed, leaving her son an orphan. The last of the ice blade. Okay, I got. I'm not retaining what's happening here with the ice blades. That this has nothing to do with Oblivion, by the way. This whole ice blades thing. But obviously, this is in a different time. This is. Wait a second. Oh, is this a um, Shia Gorath, Jigalath, Oblivion situation? Hold on. Okay, let me read this one more time. The curse of the Grey Cow is said to strip you of your identity, wiping you from all of recorded history. But the curse was broken long ago. The truth. Is yeah. Okay. The truth is that. The truth is, it wasn't nocturnal that robbed me of my life. It was my selfishness. I wore the cowl out of pure greed. I left my family because I loved only myself. Then my sister passed, leaving her son an orphan. The last of the ice blades, heir to a fortune, and easy prey for the wolves. With the boy in danger, it's time I took responsibility as the head of this clan. But if I'm to be his father, 
I have to stop being a stranger. I must pass the cowl on to another, and in doing so, the gray fox must die. Until then, I come to this grave every night bringing flowers to ask my sister for forgiveness. You've done well. <gasps> Oh, it's, it's, he's actually here, but it makes sense. Yeah, Oblivion is before Skyrim by 200 years. I always get confused if, if it's 200 or 400, but it's 200, right? So obviously this is, this is a lot different, and I won't talk about the situation that happens in Oblivion, but yeah. Oh, there he is, and yeah, that's the Grey Cal. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's, uh, it'd be cool if he had actual voice lines, but I don't expect that happening. I'm going to read these and then pick one. <laughs> okay, hopefully this doesn't mess us up here. I don't care if you're the gray fox or a pink zombie. Give me what I came for. Of course. I trust we'll never need to speak of this again to anyone. Yeah, as long as you gave me what I came for. Completed the gray cowl of Nocturnal. Okay, obviously. So from what I understand, he was the leader of the Ice Clan or whatever. But then he wanted to lose his, you know, he wanted to, he wanted to, to, to rid himself of his responsibility. So we put on the gray cow, which in oblivion, yes, makes everybody forget you. But the curse was lifted, so he was lying about that. And then he is now the the true head of the Iceborne clan or whatever. I, I guess that's what happened, from what I can understand. Okay, let's go to items. So we got the weapon, which now should be. But that, but like, it, sh it should still not... Oh, yeah, we got a deed, though. Did Wait, hold on. What is happening? We got some deed, I think, unless that was removed. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Fear poison, fishing map, fishing map, frost, identity papers, pipers, invisibility, letter from letter to lion and mama, nevin, reality, red eagle, reindeer, bill of sale, requested report, strangers, final instruction, stranger's instruction, stranger's journal, stranger's note, tattered journal, the cabin, the woods, the sword of... I clan ice blade thief snow where I think it was removed wasn't it the answer da, 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 da. yeah okay was the enchantment removed so we can actually use the weapon now I'm so confused let's take a look uh wait he removed that as well oh okay so we just don't get it's so weird getting a weapon and not being able to actually use it okay but we do get obviously it better it better be I was gonna say the gray cowl of nocturnal light armor 15 armor, 18 warmth. I wonder how warmth is decided for like other anniversary edition content. Weight two, value 1,000. It's so funny how like actual Daedric artifacts are worth nothing. Sneaking is 25% better. Carrying capacity increased by 50 points. That's huge for survival. Nearby living creatures, but not undead machines or Daedra can be seen through walls. Turns guards hostile. Oh my gosh. It's the same thing. Nearby living creatures, but not undead machines or Daedra. Gosh dang it, yeah, okay. Um, all right, let's make a save here. I wanna test and see how this works. New save, items, apparel, the gray cow of Nocturnal. Okay, and yeah, already people are starting naked. to run around. Naked, naked, naked. Maybe naked, I'm not, oh my God, I am oh, naked. Ears. Wait, what's your name? Oh, he's actually got a name, Pilfer Iceblade. I trust we'll never need to speak of this again. Well, we're speaking of it again Jenny. right now, but yeah, I'll leave. Wait, why am I? Yeah, it's the whole thing about the apparel that I'm not realizing. We really have to disenchant that. Okay, let's see if it actually turns guards hostile. Is this a different effect? Wait, is detect? Oh, that's right. Detect life is a shout, right? I just never, ever use it. Okay, so the guards do turn hostile. They're trying to kill me. Now, what happens if I unequip it? They're still hostile, so what if we try to, like... I don't even know how you're supposed to... Isn't there a way to, like, um... Yeah, guy... I... Okay. Uh... How... how is that an insta-kill? What? Lifton's under my protection. Okay, yeah, man, that's unfortunate. I mean, you can wear, we can put it on. Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll put it on in dungeons. But I, I just, I find that tedious, and I found it tedious in Oblivion as well. But it's all good. Uh, we're going to make an offering here, just in case we have anything that we need to remove, since we're here. Might as well. Blessing of Talos Ed. 
Yeah, so this was the same problem in Oblivion with this thing, is that if you ever wore it, it would always aggro the guards, and it's the sort of thing that just is that tedium that I don't like messing with, because yes, it's good, but at the same time, it's like you have that carry weight too, but then you have to take it off in cities when you're, where you go to sell the stuff, you know what I mean? So it just gets a little bit meh, but it's cool nevertheless. Alrighty, now what do we want to do? We should probably get the Rift and Fishery started since we're here, and like I said, you gotta kind of think of this game... Uh, you gotta kind of think of this playthrough in terms of efficiency. How do you actually get to the Rift and Fishery, though? I still am not remembering. Let's see. You can't... You literally can't get to it from inside? Mistvale Keep. That's so silly. Okay, what else do we have in our quest, by the way? Dawn Guard, we have this, which is new content. Taking care of business. <laughs> the Book of Love. Talked if I write. The Forsworn Conspiracy. Go to the right. We're not doing that. This we need to do, actually. Where is this? How far is that? Oh, it's not. I was going to say, I don't think we got a quest for this. It's not showing me the marker. Maybe because I don't have it active? But yeah, it's right around there, I think. Okay, so we're over here on the rift. Alrighty then. Um, yeah, so there's new fishing content, which we did. How do you. You literally can't leave. Okay, maybe if you leave this way, it's closer to the fishery. Hi, how's it going? Bye bye. Yeah, so in Oblivion, the way to do the cow was like you could do whatever you wanted with the Grey Cow of Nocturnal on. The Imperials think we need their laws. <sighs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, brother. You could, um, you could keep the cow on, but then when you went into a town, you could unequip it. And then just like, uh, there was a way to block and interact with a guard, and they would just go like, okay, so you, uh, what's the word? You know, you, you, you put down your arms, whatever the word is I'm forgetting at the moment. Uh, yeah, you can do that. It, I don't, can, if you can't do that... Oh, that just starts the quest. Look at that. If you can't do that in Skyrim, then that is awful. Visit the Rift and Fishery. Complete visit the Rift and Fishery. Talk to Viria. Talk, talk to Swims in Deep Water. How do you get... This place is such a freaking labyrinth. Just I just want to fish. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, let's do this stuff, because this stuff is new anniversary used to content as well. Uh, hello. Please help me. I'm going to lose my job at the Rift and Fishery. Do you like working at the Rift and Fishery? Bully is a good man. He pays us well and watches out for us. I used to work at the Blackbriar Meadery, but Indarin and I never saw eye to eye. That elf has no patience at all. It's probably for the best anyway. I'm far better at fishing than working in a meadery. I feel like Indarn is the guy way back in the early days you could grind speech on because he would have the same speech option over and over and over, so you could just literally max out the speech craft skill with that dude. You might lose your job. My job at the Rifton Fishery is in danger. The owner, Bolly, said that if I show up for work in this condition one more time, then I'm out. I don't mean to do this to myself, but I can't help it. I tried some skooma a year ago, and ever since then, I can't stop. If you could give me a healing potion, I could cleanse this poison from my body and get back to my life. Sure, here you are. Just keep your distance. Your kindness will never be forgotten. Here, take this. It's all I can offer you for what you've given me. Potion of Minor Healing Removed Gold Sapphire Ring. Yeah, you know you could have sold that for like a ton of skooma, by the way, but okay. And I don't know how a healing potion is supposed to cure skooma addiction, but yeah, sure. The waiting, the insufferable waiting. What's wrong? Here, I want you to have this. Don't ask, just take it. Okay, fishing is serious business. Bounty Juvenile Mud Crab added. Read Bounty Juvenile Mud Crab. Let's read Bounty Juvenile Mud Crab. Which is way up here. There you are. Ahem. Bounty, juvenile mud crab. After hanging up my sword and bow to live a quieter life, I decided to study the lives and habitats of mud crabs here at the Rift and Fishery. It is my hope that one day we might breed mud crabs much like we do fish. If only everyone else at the fishery shared my interest. I am in search of a juvenile mud crab so that I may study its growth. These young mud crabs rarely leave the water, so I now need an intrepid fisherman to catch one. They can be caught in almost all lakes and streams throughout Skyrim, though a breeding ground is said to be in White Run West of Broken Fang Cave. Please make haste. I must show progress in my research as soon as possible. Viria, Rift and Fishery, note to self, it's been 12 days since an adventurer took up this bounty, and so far nothing. How much longer must I wait? 
Listen, Viria, life's not all about mud crabs. My god, what a what a what a what a droll thing. Droll, I'm using that word wrong because droll actually means interesting. What a what a what a inane thing to focus on, okay? Are you listening to me? Are you feeling the hot breath of my mouth on your cheek? Good. Also, who's this man over here? Oh yeah, that's the thing. I have to remember to use boats now. Trees. They're beautiful here. Reminds me of autumn at home. Okay, fantastic. Just gonna make a quick save. Don't mind me real quick. If we could go ahead and get into sneak. Uh, is it you, Viria? Are you causing me issues? You do not see me, Viria. Okay, what do we have here? Ooh, a garnet. Yes, please. Okay, listen. Shut that, shut that combat music off right now. Listen, it's a 42% chance. It's very likely, okay? It's like a basically a half and half chance here. Yeah, see what I mean? How did we not get a level up there? What the heck? Okay, let's save the game again. Uh, some A lot of people have mentioned, actually, that, yeah, if you're non-detected, it raises the chance of succeeding at pickpocketing. So there is a reason to wait until you're non-detected, basically. Uh, silver ring. Ugh. Yoink. Okay, I'll take that. How did pick... Yeah, how did pickpocket not level up? Oh, no, this is... This is the Skyrim player's worst nightmare when you fall into water and then have to use the horrible. Also, how am I sneaking in water, by the way? But okay. And when you fall in water and then have to locate your nearest, like, ladder since there's no, or staircase since there's no way to, like, jump. Jump. Since there's no way to jump. Just get on the. Oh, we did it. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Huh. Okay, there we go. Yeah, platforming in Skyrim is kind of gross. It's, it's one of the worst things. I would love, like, Skyrim and Fallout 4 to feel better with their movement. But, oh well. Anyways, who do we have in here? Hi there. Yes. I'd like to improve my fishing skills. Could you teach me a few things? Of course. List of fair weather fish added started catch of the day. An entire list of fish to catch. But I only just learned how to fish. That doesn't change anything. Should I cook them for you while I'm at it? What? No. Decided to show up <laughs> Relax, I was just joking. You expect me to believe that? Yes, why do your responses feel so canned? The fish you tend to at the fishery must be very important to you. It speaks the truth. Okay, uh, I'll bring them back soon. My thanks to you. Absolutely. Who, who is talking over here while I'm listening, while I'm trying to listen to the duck? Is it you, ma'am, Nivenor? If you're looking for a handout, you'll want to speak with my husband. If you're looking for company... I suppose I could do worse. Yeah, right. Now we're understanding all the tangled webs everybody leads. So yeah, this is Nivenor, who we talked to already with the Grey Cow of Nocturnal, which makes sense why it's part of Riften. Her husband is Boley, who runs the fisheries. Yeah, it's all coming together. Look at that. Uh, what do we have here? Things to do. <gasps> Repair holes and nets. Sending to Markarth. Too expensive. Look for local solution. Valendor, perhaps? Repair wood damage on fish pens. No skill required for this. Should simply have Wuji to take care of it. Adjust fishing charts for Lake Honrik. Need to know ship clear of... Need to keep ship clear of Golden Glow Estate. They took pot shots at our ship last time we moored within a stone's throw of their location. No idea why it answers to Erngoth have gone unanswered. Tell Nivenor to stop spending so much of our damn money. I did the Argonian voice, but then I realized this was written by Boley, who we have not even seen. We've just heard a lot about. Uh, can I take this without stealing, by the way? I'm going to jump over here. Also, I think you were just rude to me, right? Boley's around somewhere. Is he? Can you look? The, can I just for one time? Up. Oh, there's Boley. There's nothing like fishing on Lake Onrik. You should try it sometime. I've heard so much of you. Are you a fisherman? Only the best in all of Riften. I own Riften Fisheries. Started out with a single fishing pole, and now I have an entire building and two boats to my name. Not bad for a middle-aged Nord, eh? Too bad I haven't had the same success helping this city shed its poverty. And even Nord thinks I'm wasting my time trying. But I disagree. Can we just say that Skyrim has done a magnificent job of having so many NPCs with little tiny stories? I have not experienced any of this because, again, objective base. If I didn't need to talk to them, I never did. Who buys all your fish? I sell my catch across a good portion of Skyrim. It's worth its weight in gold to me. The only untapped market left is Markarth. However, I just got word that Klepper at the Silver Blood Inn might be interested. If you're headed that way, I would appreciate you delivering a purchase agreement for me. You'd be paid, of course. Okay, I'll do it. Good. Klepper will pay you as soon as you arrive with the letter. Here you are. And I'm just hoping that Skyrim keeps with the whole, you know, not having carry weight stuff apply if it's quest related. Although that's just a letter. You sound quite charitable. Yes, I suppose someone has to be around here. 
Have you seen the condition of this sorry excuse for a city? Beggars roam the streets, crime runs rampant, and the threat of war is driving away business. The paltry amount of coin that I place in the charity box at the temple is the least I can do to help. You're a good man, Boli. You don't deserve to be cheated on. You mentioned Nivenor. Nivenor is my wife. How I was ever able to meet such a gorgeous creature is one of life's mysteries. We're at odds about my charity. She thinks the people in this town have become lazy and expecting a handout. I tried to include her in my lessons from Mara Mall over at the Temple of Mara, but she prefers to shop instead. Different strokes, eh? Oh, Bowley, you have such a kind heart and you don't even know. Remember to give at the temple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to steal from your wife now. Oh, no. Did she escape my grasp? Where did she go? She looked a little rich, but I guess not because she's worried about the charity or whatever. Did you get that purchase agreement to Mark Cart yet? Uh, I'm working on it. Jeez. Fish out of water. <gasps> Viri has an odd one. She wants to fill our precious waters with mud crabs. Mud crabs! <gasps> crabs are not fish. They do not swim. They do not smile. You cannot speak to a mud crab. They cannot hold a conversation in their knobby little pincers. They are clumsy creatures, but more importantly, they are unhappy creatures, dour and sunless like the soil in which they sleep. Ours is to wonder if Viria is not well to suggest such a thing. I don't know if that was supposed to be written by Boli or the other Argonian dude. It seems like Boli, but I don't feel like he would say that. Okay, I want to take this as well. Things to do. Yo -yo -yo -yoink. And what do we have here? Pirate King of the Abekian. I don't think that's an actual thing related to this at all, but let's sneak real quick and try to open this up. Where are you at? Oh, you're gonna be, oh, no, 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 no. Why don't you just be nice to me? Oh, oh look at you spoiling me near Christmas. Oh, <clears throat> hi, how's it going? Careful. Uh, yeah, my bad, I'm such a klutz. Anyways, back to fishing, right? Okay, we're gonna save here and see what he's got as well. Will you just let me... Whoa, what does he have? Hold on a second. Mark of Debella? Value 070... Why does he have this? What is this? What the heck? Cooked Pogfish. I would actually really like that. 74% chance to steal. Yoink! Hell yeah. Let's save the game right here. Move up a little bit. New Stop. In town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. Yeah, I love fishing. Anyways, turn around. Every now and then. Flawless Garnet. 64% chance to steal. 150. Yoink! And I think we'll leave that there. Okay. Now, we got a whole bunch of fishing quests. Uh, no. And we got some fishing books as well. What did we get here? Contract fish out of water? We read that already, right? Line of... It's this one here. List of fair weather fish. Ahem. Ours have dreamt of these waters many times, filled with strange exotic fishes from all over Skyrim. No, not fishes. Friends! Well, at least until they're harvested and sold as food. We have a business to maintain, after all. Friendships can only go so far before gold gets in the way. The fish in my dream seem to be okay with this arrangement, and he rarely lies to me, the windfish. And so, with his blessing, I will teach you to catch these fish, and in exchange, you will bring them here. Here is a list to start with. Carp, glassfish, goldfish, pogfish. They're fair-weather fish. It should be easy enough to catch. Even so, please read the first volume of Fishing Mastery written by yours truly. A copy should be sitting on a shelf in the back room of the fishery. When you're done, return to me and we'll find our new friends a home and use some coin. Okay, so we gotta get that list of fish, but we've done all this. Optional read, Fishing if Mastery version. Excuse something? No, I don't need so. I need you to, if you're leaving, leave and not have me interact yes. with you. By okay, Bully, listen. Our, our relationship has ended here. We're done. Stop talking to me. It's over. Okay, can you actually fish here? I forgot. Get. Can you do it right at the edge of the docks? We'll fish a little bit. Like, if we see the ability to, we'll go for it. Oh, perfect. Okay. You must have a fishing rod equipped. So, if we go to weapons, we've got a fishing rod. Somebody pointed out it would be funny if we killed the final boss of this game with a fishing rod. I agree. It would be very silly, but I agree. Uh, okay, let's, yeah, put that in our hand and then do this. And let's see if we can catch one of the four fish that we need. Fishing. While fishing, press activate to reel in your line. Reeling when there is a strong pull on your line will reel in your catch. Ripples on the surface when casting your line are from nearby fish. If the water is calm when you cast your line, there are no more fish to catch here. Fish will return in a day's time. Okay, so it automatically casts, and then we're just waiting for the big ripple. That's not the big ripple. That's not the big ripple. That's not the big ripple. That's the big ripple. 
I pressed A, but again, I, I still don't know if you're supposed to spam it or not. We got a salmon. Okay, let's try this one more time. I'd rather have one of the fish that I need, video game, if you'd be so kind. Yeah, I still don't know if you have to spam A when it starts to go crazy. It's to, uh, and it's the fear of losing something. It's like, I don't want to fear the time. I don't want to lose the time that I fished. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it does definitely seem like... Oh, yeah. There we go. We got a car. Perfect. Okay, let's try one more time. We'll go until we don't get a quest fish. How about that? And again, I'm not even sure if you need to go anywhere else. It seemed like, based on reading you know, those fishing books that, yeah, you have to go to different places to get the different types of fish, but I don't know. We just keep getting the same stuff. What the heck? Oh my god, scared the crap out of me. Slaughterfish. Okay. Uh, good. Now, if we catch a quest fish, we'll read their entry in the book. So what was that? D -d 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 was it Lion and Lore? So many gosh dang fish books, you know? Let's also read this in the next uh, episode as well. Was it Line and Lore? It must be, huh? Line and Lore by Alon Seabird. No, that's not him. It said yours truly. Da -da 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 -da. Fishing map, fishing map, fish out of water. What book were they? Oh, that's right. Wait, it's in here, I think. It's on the shelf. Oh, and it's, oh my gosh. What you stop? Okay, I'm just gonna break in. Can you not look at me? Okay, perfect, thank you. Okay, where is the thing, huh? Huh? Can't really wait anyways with all the survival stuff going on. Oh, where are you? Yeah, there you are. Oh my gosh, just open up. What do you say, huh? Aren't we warm? No, we're not. We're cold. So lockpicking is probably hard. Ugh. People that play Skyrim probably know this feeling, but like when your thumbs lock up, you don't even mean to do it, but it like kind of jams, kind of jams your thumb stick into the, you know, kind of jam your thumb into the, uh, what is that? Oh, salmon's, oh, hell yeah. Give me that. Kind of jam your thumbs into the thumbstick so that it kind of like locks in the, uh, lo make sure that you break a lockpick. Olaf and the Dragon Fishing Mastery. There it is. Okay. Optional read Fishing Mastery version one. Fishing Mastery volume one by Swims in Deep Water. So you have decided to learn how to fish. Good for you. It's a noble endeavor, and with plenty of practice, it can be a profitable one. A profitable one. Keep in mind that every journey begins with a single step, one that is usually clumsy and will end with you falling on your face. That is why, for your first lesson, it's recommended that you stick to calmer skies and fairer climates, where the fish will happily bite on even the most unattractive of hooks. This guidebook details four types of fish that are ideal for beginners. They are most common on a clear day near streams and lakes in fairer parts of Skyrim away from snow and ice. The places one can catch these fish are too numerous to mention here, but an excellent way to begin one's fishing journey is to start by casting your line right off the docks near the Rift and Fishery into Lake Honrick. Once you've had your fill of lake fish, head west to try your hand at fishing from the river that runs alongside Arvist Iverstead, and your journey at Vilemere Inn with aching arms and a full belly. Carp. Caught in temperate lakes and streams, large in size and commonly caught, seen in fair weather. That's the one that we got, right? They say the carp is the Jarl of the Carth River, royal, stately, and austere. This sounds like it would taste very tough and chewy, but that is not the case. Eat until your scales swell. Carp are very popular for many reasons. Some even keep them as pets, but they are too big for most fish tanks. Better to eat them. Okay, so we're going to try to catch you. We're going to just uh, throw our line out one last time. What did we catch, by the way? It was a carp, right? Quests, miscellaneous, no, get that out of here, I don't want that. Uh, oh yeah, that's right, the Rifter, Rift and Skooma dealer, I forgot about that. Uh, fish, 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 catch of the day. Yeah, we got a carp and we need the three other types. Let's see if we can get lucky one last time before we head out in a different, on a different adventure. Use fishing supplies. Okay, so yeah, it because like if you press A once, it definitely... Seems like it doesn't really, whereas if you spam it, it reels in pretty quickly. Also, I noticed, look at the fishing rod. <laughs> Brook bass added. Oh, disgusting. Come on, give me give me one of the quest fish. Give me a pog fish so I can say pog. That could be very funny, and I could be the first one ever recording this game to say that. Nobody else has ever said that before. Uh, okay, what do we do now? We've gotten all the fishing stuff activated. Uh, reforming the dog. Oh, really? Did you? Time to hear that 400,000 times now since that quest is activated. Okay, I think we hit up the bee and the barb before we leave. We also probably need to do some selling, but we constantly go to places when they're closed. Hi! Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? Oh, you're not if even the even main... Oh, no, you are Balaman. Why do you not again. sell anything? Yeah, Riften just doesn't have, like, shops? What is going on? Also, what is this? The bee and the barb. Okay, we're just gonna take care of our stuff and level up, and then we'll be on our way. 
Uh, hello, how's it going, everybody? Sorry, nice I'm to see you. It's I me again, the talk of the right town. Now. I know, I know. Hi. If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the road. What have you got for sale? Let's say that appetite. Hmm? Yes, exactly. Literally need to do exactly that. Let's see here. Leg of goat roast. I will take it. Nord mead. Red apple. Seared slaughterfish. I will take it. Venison chop. I will take it. Thank you so much. Come back and see us again. I will. You have... Oh, wait. Hold on. What can I get you? Mead? Wine? I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you so much. Come back and see us again. Forget exactly where this is. Upstairs, right? And then over here. Oh my gosh. It's the it's it's the not it's the not real McCoy. It's, it's the fake bed. Okay, here we go. It's currently 9.25 p.m., so we'll wait about, I think, 12 hours. Actually, let's wait for the shops to be open, because we need to do some selling, I think, to some gen Actually, but yeah, Riften just does not have a general store, I guess. I'm very confused. Uh, so yeah, let's wait 12 hours. Our sleep will be satiated. Our sleep will be slept. Our sleep will be... What's the word for food, food satiety? Sa sa satiety. Man. Man, my brain is just slowly deteriorating, huh? Okay. So we got 150 health, but again, I don't know where magic... Yeah, man, this is going to be really annoying. I just have to keep track of when it's when it's fully stocked up here. All my... All my... All my stuff, my re... What would you call... Man, I can't think of anything to call anything today. The health, the stamina, and the magic, whatever they're called, when they're fully, like, you know, I, I, have to, I have to take a look at how much we have for each one when they're fully filled. Jeez. Okay, let's go stamina. I could use a little bit more running, but we are going to need all three here. And then, how about destruction? Do we have anything new to cast here? Still the shock and the other one, which I'm not really sure about just yet. How about one-handed? I feel like we haven't really leveled up all that much with the main skills that we're using here. No? Okay. How about... And hear me out. Even though we don't have anything here, I just feel like this would be a good idea. You know, novice conjuration. Cast novice levels conjuration spells for half magicka. Something's telling me that might be important. But I'm not sure Probably. just yet. Okay, uh, we need to eat some food. Let's eat the apple pie. Let's. We could cook that. We can. We need to keep. We need to keep that. I don't think we can turn this into the quest uh, since it's cooked already. So let's eat that. Let's eat a leg of goat roast. And where does that I've put us at? To speak to you. Huh? I did account. So many conversations all the time. Sure. Okay. No, I don't want to okay. go in there. How do I get out of here? What do you say? Where's the eggs? Hi, man. You were seriously on me like white on rice. It's crazy. Yes. I feel like there was one other thing that I needed to do. What was it? I'm not in your face, Sapphire. I'm just trying to I roam about. You're bothering me for a good reason. <laughs> okay, so next up, we need to do this. I think it's going to be pretty dang important. Where is it? Uh, the Rising Dead. I've received an anonymous letter asking me to help stay stop a group of necromancers who are planning to raise an army of zombies. I should investigate the ritual site. But before we leave, is there anything else we have to do in Riften? I feel like there is something I'm missing. What is it? Not the fish. We could turn in the fish, but that's not that big of a deal. We can turn them in when we have the mud crab and all the other stuff. There's something here. I know it. It's in my brain, but I can't think of it. Okay, we'll just go here. Now, somebody in my Twitch stream, one of my mods actually said that when your values are all filled up, your health, your what your health, your um your your food, your sleep, when all that stuff is like good. Okay, so there we go. We have 150 magicka, but it's being affected by something. We have okay, so two more points of stamina, and then we go mana. Yeah, magicka. So two more, two more level ups worth of stamina, and then all magicka. Okay, so yeah, one of my mods mentioned that if your all of your like you know your hunger, your sleep, and your temperature is all good, sometimes it lets you fast travel. Now I have no problem doing that if that happens. So let's see, can we fast travel to Helgen? Fast travel is currently unavailable from this location. Son of a bee. Yeah, apparently there's some way to trigger that. And I don't know if that mod just got lucky or what. But I'm going to try it whenever we have our uh, stuff filled out. So let's see. Can we do it now, maybe? What do you say, huh? How about you take me back to Helgen? <gasps> no way. Whoa, it worked! Now that's going to pass time, which means our hunger and everything's going to go down, right? Yeah, okay, that sucks, but that's all right. Okay, so yeah, apparently there's a thing. I have no idea if it's intended or not, which is why I'm fine using it, and also, you know, just fast traveling is 
non-fast traveling is a bit tedious, of course. But yeah, that's confirmed right then and there. So I don't, again, don't, not sure if it's intended, but if your stuff is fully filled, although we'll try it when it's not, it seems like you can fast travel. So we'll just see. Either way, we're going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, remember, liking the videos, leaving comments, making sure you subscribe with the bell turned on. All helps out the channel. Thank you very much. And massive thank you to my patrons as well. And I will see you in the next episode where we get some necromancy going. Necromancy. Necromancy. Bye-bye. <gasps>Hey, it's me, GV. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more of me, I'm live on Twitch pretty much every day. The link is in the description. If you'd like to support me and go the extra mile, consider becoming a patron. The link is in the description. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.